guys how y'all doing today i'm working i'm gonna start working on this old radio here B, it's called bc i'm not for sure if that's what the name is so um first things first what i'm gonna do the i'm gonna try to get this right here laid back down i've got some wood glue where i put some right here and then I'm going to put a piece of wood over this and put a couple clamps and see if that's going to work. And get that fixed first. Um, I haven't even tried to see if the radio works or nothing. Um, or the record player. Uh, I know the record player is going to need a needle. So I don't know if I got another one on an old cabinet that I have. That old record player or not. But uh, I'm just going to take my time with this. This is going to be probably a couple of week project. So I want to film clips of different things. Re trying to restore this. Um, I'm going to try to find that How Howard's Restore. And hopefully I can find that. And it works and brings us back. Like I said in the previous video. I um, look like an ashtray right here. So I don't know. I'm probably going to have to sand this top off anyway. So, but I want to try to get this cabinet looking as good as it did the day it came off the showroom floor. So, um, I may have to sand it all and regarnish it. I don't know yet. So, let me set you all up here and show you what I'm doing. I don't know if I'm going to put this in different uh, pieces like make a bunch of videos out of it or try to make one big video so we'll just have to see as we go so yeah what i'm gonna do is i right, did some of it i'm lightly lifting up where it's, uh, the water's got in with this little uh swiss knife just kind of lifting up trying not to break it and i'm just taking this screwdriver And try and get glue in there. Trying to get back as far as I can without cracking it any worse. This is the only bad place on the cabinet. I wish I could see underneath there. I'm just trying to rub as much as I can. Like I said, I already got that pretty much. I'm going to try to get as much glue as I possibly can. Just regular wood glue. And this piece might be a little tricky here. Oh gosh. Right 
but the podcast and filler over here is a little bit of this missing, which is fine. I don't know if you can buy veneering anymore. If I knew that, I could. I would probably try to just take this off, which I don't know, that'd be a job. If, if this works, it'll be great. It'll save a lot of time. What I'm going to do is push down on that. Right. And get the excess. Go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and get the excess glue off up here. And when I put the clamps on, it's going to squeeze out. But Alright. What I want to do is take a board like this here. Put it up, up close like that. I've got to oil that one day. Then I'm going to take C clamps. I got this one. It's really too big for a job, but it'll go way back in the back there now oh, it's as far back I thought it would go farther oh that board well let me see here let's try to do it like this then Well, Good and tight, make sure it's on there really good. I wish I had a one that would take a bigger box. That's pretty tight. I wish. Like I said, I wish I could get it farther back. Uh, 
hopefully that's pushing that's pushing down on it pretty good so we'll just have to wait and see if it don't I'll have to try to find a bigger C clamp that go farther back to the back here but it's got it down pretty tight mm. so hopefully time will tell and uh, hopefully that'll push that down hopefully it's pushing both I think it is I think it's actually pushing the board down too so I think it's got a good grip wish there was something back here that I could put another C clamp to but there's not so all right guys yeah so I'm gonna let this set let it set overnight and um, we'll check it tomorrow like I said uh, I'm gonna just take my time with this one. I'm not gonna. It's not gonna be one of the videos that I get together in a couple hours. So hopefully that'll work, guys. Let's let that glue dry. Okay, guys. How y'all doing? It's now the next day. Welcome to Redneck Ways, by the way. And yesterday I kind of showed y'all a little bit what I was doing with this vice with uh, everything on trying to get that um that wood down looking a little bit better and it's not perfect guys but i mean as you can see it's pretty i mean if you look at the before picture on the last video to now it looks pretty good now it does got a little chip here which i could put some um put some oh filler in it so but I'm happy with it. I mean, there's a little dust back here in the back. Get that out. But I'm pretty happy with that, guys. Um, also, I've been cleaning on it. Um, I've been... It has some... Uh, over here on the side, which... I don't know if it's lying. You can see how rough it looks. And it, you can hear my hand over how rough that is. And now listen to it. It's a lot better. And I've been using um, this Murphy Oil Soap. Now they didn't have the, the thick stuff. They were sold out at the dollar store when I went yesterday. But this seems to be working. I'm using a Scotch Brite. Um, I'm scrubbing it with this side and then just wiping it down real good with the sponge and I mean here's the, the front door did great and it's smooth now somebody had in the past set something here and I cannot I don't know what it is I think that's what's left of the stain here but this black I don't know but uh, tell you the truth guys I don't think I was gonna put a clear coat on it I don't know yet I'm still torn um, I guess this is what's left of the clear coat too I'm not for sure I just know it's looking a lot better this camera's not giving it justice um, I still got to clean the knobs off there a little bit dirty so um, I, I mean I probably will put a clear coat on it I still I'm not 100% decide what I'm going to do yet. And I'm still not 100% sure if I'm going to change this grill cloth. Because changing it, it's going to be take away from what it was. You know what I mean? So, I still haven't even tried to fire this one up yet. See if it even works. Um, I worked did some work to the, the record player. I put some oil on it. So it comes out nice and easy. That's the actual what it used to look like in its glory days. So that's with a clear coat on it. All the clear coats were off. So um, also right here, this was coming loose, and um, I put some wood glue on it and put some clamps and held it for a few hours, and it did pretty good. Cause it was making a horrible sound when you pulled it open. So that's where I'm at on that.
So I'm gonna get everything set up, guys, and I'll show you what I, how I'm doing this over here, and uh, we'll go from there. And also, my antenna tuner came in today, so we'll take a look in that box and see what all came and what it's gonna take to get that built. All right, guys, don't go nowhere. I'll be right back. All right, guys. Now right here is the side, this side. And um, I'll show you what I'm going to do clean. And you can tell the difference in the top. When I turn this, just finished, just now turn this around, I noticed right here, I'm going to have to put some glue here. It's starting to want to come up. Let's see. So I don't know if that happened with me cleaning it. I'm trying to not get soaked real wet, so I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to put some glue underneath there and then put some weight let that set and dry. I never did get that wool up that I actually got on it. But I'll show you how I've been cleaning this. Set y'all down here, flipped up. You see, my whole shop's so small, it's getting more and more stuff. I think y'all can see, you can't see all the way to the top, but, alrighty. So, this is what I've been doing, guys. I've just been, see how it's got all this junk on the bottom? All this nastiness. That's what I'm trying to get off. And that, I don't know what it is, it feels horrible. So, like I said, I've been taking... Uh, Murfuel soap, spraying it, putting a pretty good coat on it, not, not trying to get it too wet. And then take the Scotch Brite and doing the rough first. And going with the grain on it. trying to get that crap off so it looks a little bit better I gotta get a bucket of water hold on no, all right guys I got a bucket of water I'm lock this spray one more time yeah they're real good and guys if any of you want out there know if you can still get veneering Put it in the comments if you can and where. Because I've got, I have a couple more cabinets, a couple more radios that's going to need work. And they're, they're going to need a lot more work than this one. Because there's pieces, big pieces missing off of them. Yeah, I'm just taking that back and forth and getting that old. Now, some of the varnish is coming off with this, but I don't know what else to do because you got to clean it. And it's so grimy. I've got to take that scotch right to it. I just take the sponge part and wipe off the excess. I mean, look at that, guys. It, it is filthy. Some of that is the stain, too, though. So a lot of it's dirt. And that's how I've been cleaning. 
just like that. And I'm down, I only got, I really need just, I think one, the other side is, that's all as far as the cabinet needs cleaned off like that. I got quite a bit of it done last night. drop my hands off and we'll do a walk around on this all right all right guys here's the back of it it looks like it's I see a one two three four five six six tubes looks like one two three four five six tubes look like two IF cans and it's got a pretty good size tuning capacitor. Um, I guess this is something to the record player here. So yeah, here down here is the antenna. It's in. It's seen its better days. Um, just a loop antenna. And I've got to find a way to get it back up there if I possibly can. It's not broke off yet. So. I don't know maybe I can hot glue that back to that cardboard because it goes on like that now on this back piece I don't know if this is original or what um, the thing inside says 2548 VT whatever that means but I don't think this is, I don't know if this is original to the back, because I don't think they use this pressed wood stuff. So, and plus, these staples look pretty modern to me, which I mean, I could be wrong, but I don't think, I don't think it's original. So I'm taking this off, I'm going to do away with that, and what I'm going to use is, um, burlap. Cut a piece of that and tack it on with uh, I got some old-fashioned uh, tacks and I think that'll look pretty good I definitely it'll look better than that cheap looking cardboard crap I know that I actually I went to the flea market today and I actually found a 1940s radio but uh, it was a console didn't have a record player in it. It was more rounded, uh, but it was missing a speaker, and also it was missing two knobs. They just want 40. I'm still wondering if I should have bought it or not. But the thing with consoles, guys, they uh, they take up a lot of room. A lot of room. This one's the smallest one that I got, that I have, and. Uh, the other ones I got, I'm gonna try to get them fixed, and I'm gonna probably sell those. As much as I wish I had a big room, just to put display my radios, but right at this moment I don't have that. And though the other two, like I said a minute ago, they they need a lot of cabinet work. And then this one here, it was uh, had the least bit of cabinet work needed done to it, and it was the smallest. So, whenever I get my apartment or whatever, it'll fit good in that. Plus, uh, on my next model that I'm going to build, I'm going to build the Captain Kid and um, Pirate Ship. And I'm going to have it on here. As, so, it's going to be a nice looking display piece. Hopefully, hopefully it'll all turn out good. But, yeah... Oh, what I gotta do now, guys, I'm gonna go ahead, we'll do it together. I'm gonna get this glued and get some weight put on that. This over here is coming up a little bit too. Um, I'll get this one first, let it be drawn. Then when that dries, I'll put some glue in here. I'm, gl I'm just glad this over here worked out. Like I said, there's a couple little uh, rows it's a lot better than what it was. You have to really look at it to see. So I'm really happy how it turned out. So let me get you all up here. I gotta get my glue.
Hope everybody had a, is having a good Friday. It's Memorial Day weekend. So, if y'all, if, if you guys, or any of y'all out there having a three-day weekend, hope y'all have a good one and y'all be safe. I've got to work. I've got to uh, work tomorrow till noon. And, um, and then I've got a lot. i got a creek bank i got to weed eat after that. So I'll at least be working tomorrow way in the evening. But hopefully I'll have Sunday and Monday off. Um, on the glue I'm using, guys, it's nothing, uh, nothing special. Just wood glue um, that you can get at the Dollar Tree. And it works really good. I've used it on a lot of projects. Give me a piece of paper. There we go. So I can have something to squirt. And I'm getting low on it though. Ooh, that's probably too much. hard to judge it when it gets low like that. There's my little screwdriver. Alright guys, what I've been doing is I've just been getting a little bit of glue on the tip of this little screwdriver like that and lifting this up real lightly and smearing glue in there and not getting it everywhere just been putting glue just like that Veneering looks really pretty when it's not tore up, but it's so easy to tear up, you know, start breaking off, and it, then it looks horrible. And I don't know if you could get, if you could still get it, it wouldn't be too bad because you could just redo it. I just put glue in it like that and I didn't put too much glue out. And then get some weight and push down on that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take I need I need something piece of wood that's pretty long. Not really long, but about six inches. I don't know if this will be I don't know if that'll get in there or not. Yeah, it's too not not small enough. There we go. This will not work perfect. We'll have to make it work. See, I've got to cut some of that off because I need it. I need it to be at that as long as that. So when I put the weight on it, all the pressure will go all across there. So let me pause it for a minute, guys. I'll cut this piece of wood. Okay, guys. Uh, I got that piece of wood cut there. Fits pretty good. Let me get that glue off. This excess glue off over here in the corner, and then I'm gonna set that right like that. 
And then I'm going to put 10 pounds, 10 pounds of weight on it. And that should take care of that. I'll let that set up for an hour or two. But we'll come back over here, guys. See, that's looking pretty good. A lot of that old stuff came off. So, I think, uh, like I said, I got motor oil on that when I was traveling with it. I was hauling it home. So, I think, I don't know yet. I, I probably will put a clear coat on it. What I'm going to probably have to do is get some real light sandpaper. Because there's a little varnish here still. And right here. And lightly sand that down. And try not to go, try not to ruin all this thing, you know what I mean? Try to keep as much as I can, because, and then put a clear coat. Now this mark here, that's going to have to stay, because if I try to sand that out, I'll just go to bare wood. But, alright guys, um, let me go in the house for a minute, get situated, and I'll be back, and uh, I want to go over... And look, open up uh, this antenna tuner and kind of go over that and see what we're going to have to do to get this built. So give me a few minutes and I will be right back, guys. Alright, guys. It's been about an hour. So let's take this off and see how it did. And then we'll glue the other side. I think that's a win. It may need a little bit more right there in that corner. It's not lifting up. I still may have to put a little bit right there. But it's better. So now we gotta do this side. Kind of dark, ain't it? Get y'all set up here. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if I shut that door if it make it better or not. Yeah, that helps. All right, let's get some wood. Watch for it. I put way too much out a minute ago. I'm going to do the same thing. screwdriver real fine tip I lost my glasses the other day and I still haven't found that pair all right it's gonna lift up I'll try to get the glue in there not over the front of the cabinet like I'm doing This time I'm going to get that corner real good. Got to be 
very easy to stuff. It's so thin. So thin. Excess off. that board. Just had it. I'm always going to say there it is. Do the same thing, guys. We'll put this piece of wood in. Which seems to be a little bit too long. So there's a different size. So I'm gonna have to cut some of that off, guys. I'm gonna have to cut just a just a smidge off with the old hand saw. Good. And we'll put our weight back on it. Whew. Get the excess glue off. Let that set. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that, guys. I think she's coming to coming right along. Looks so much better than when I, the day I brought it home. Look, it sure does. That side we just cleaned. That really turned out good. So, yeah, let that dry, and then hopefully there's no more. I didn't even notice that till just today. So, because um, yesterday there was a piece back here on the back, and I right here, and I got that. I let that set overnight. But for it being almost fifty, say forty-eight. So what is that? Uh, almost sixty-eight years old. She don't look too bad. All right, guys, we'll let that dry. And I need to do that clean the other side. And then um, I guess we can go ahead and take this back off. That's what we'll do now. So while that's drying, um, we'll get this take off, take this here off and get rid of that. And we'll see what that uh, burlap is going to look like. So hold on, guys. I'll be right back. All right, guys. What I got to do now is get these staples out. Get something, get those out of there. Bring my chair over here. Oh. Where's my little orange? Hair pliers. Where my wire 
car covers, trolleys. I can use my broken glasses. Set this up in here for now. I just got looking at this old cord. It's it's going to need a cord on it. The cord's in bad shape. Real bad shape. We've been there before, ain't we? Just the other day. But yeah, that, that's one of the reasons why I haven't tried to um, hook this up yet. Is where uh, I'm not in really no hurry. Because um, on that last radio I worked on, on that Bendix, I'm still a little depressed that um, the tube blew on me. Just a minute ago, I, I was just talking how this wire didn't come off. And now it just did. I'm not really for sure how this. I don't think it glues on. I'm. I'm not 100 sure how this went on. There, it looks like it mounted to something here, and I don't think it was this piece of cardboard. The tube, it's, it has a um, a 14C7, a 14Q7, a 12B7, and a 14A7, a 14B6, a 35A5, a 35Y4. And it says right here, wave trap, adjust with instruments only. See service manual. This is a uh, this is a Motorola. So that's pretty cool. Chicago, Illinois. Um, it's a hundred seventeen volt AC only, sixty watts. And it says here, um, remove two plug plugs and two screws to service tube disconnect line cord before removing back so yeah it's a Motorola did y'all see that I was wondering what kind of radio it was but it just says BC on the top back up here but yeah I want to I don't like I said I don't know how the I guess the antenna was in here somehow I don't know because this bowed here that's how that went on I do know it's going to need a new core, so we'll just go ahead and snip this off so it'll be out of our way right now. Throw that, throw that away. It's garbage. Pull these staples out. Put some glue right there. It's just like little places. I don't think y'all can see that far up. 
There you go. Right here. Blue that back. Yeah, somebody had to put this on. Probably in the 70s. So what do you guys got planned for this Memorial Weekend? I've got, I think I said earlier, i got side work to do. But hopefully I'll get it all done tomorrow. And I'll have Sunday to rest. And then Monday, um, I'm helping my mom and dad paint, paint the house. So I'm going to get started on that. I'm going to start on the front porch. I'm going to be painting everything real high. I'm going to paint all around the eaves. Um, all where the gutters are. And then about two foot on the house down. Down to the windows. And that's uh, mom and dad. They said you know they can reach at, at a safe distance. So We're going to try to get, get it knocked out in a... I like to get it done in a week, but their thing is going to take about two weeks. But yeah, I'm going to get that, hopefully I'll get that started Monday. Get started on that. Get that all fixed. Alrighty, guys. We got those all the staples out. I don't know what SC means. It's stamped in here. But there's the back of it. So we might as well clean that off while we got it open. A good time to clean it. And like I said, this right here is garbage. I'm just going to trash that. There's no saving it. Which, it may be. I just don't see it being the original. But it, it does have a red tint to it. So I don't know. I don't think they had this stuff in the 40s. Cardboard backs. But I could be wrong. They may have started going cheap even back then. Right out the front door. And I am looking for my sponge. Here it is. Alright. I got fun. There's the murky. Oh. Give it a little spray. Clean the back of it good. The turntable, like, a, well, I don't know if any of it works yet, but hopefully the turntable works and everything. And I, I'll have to find a needle. It don't, it does not have a needle on the, or a cartridge, I should say. Oh. I wish I was good friends with radio, TV, phone on that, because record players ain't my thing I, I don't I'm not very good at those I've tried to fix them there's a tack that's what I'm going to use to put that back on that's probably the original 
Well, maybe not. Got that clean. Oh. All right, guys. Let's see if this is if it's gonna fit or am I gonna to have to cut it in half. No, I think I'm gonna be fine. That's gonna be wide enough. I'll just have to I'll have to fold it a little bit. I don't think that'll show too bad. Staples. Alright, yeah. Alright, I've got to go get some little tacks so I can tack it on. Alright, guys, I'm back. I got some tacks. Alright. So, that's the bottom. So that's the, or that's the top. That's the way I want it. Which I don't know if I should cut this. probably want to have to cut it because I'm afraid when I tuck it because I'm going to fold it over and I don't know when I fold it over if you're going to be able to see it from the inside see the fold which I can do it I can fold it back that way but I don't think that'll look good So, tell you what guys, I think I want to put this off because I think it's going to be a little bit more work than what I feel like doing right now. But what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to cut this, take, take this apart, do some measurements, and I'll cut it, and then I'll get it where it'll fit, and I'll fix it where I, when I fold it, it'll only be as thick as this. And that way I get a good, good, strong mount. Because right now if I do it, it's going to be folded over about that much. And that's just too much because you'll be able to see it from the other side. But that'll give you somewhat a look of what it's going to look like. And I don't think it's going to look too bad. I know it's going to look a lot better than that piece of cardboard. And it's going to be up against the wall. So I think it's going to look really good. It really matches. It, it looks good with that, that wood. So, Alright, that's what I'm going to do. Or, I mean, I could cut a piece of plywood and put that. Or, I could not put anything at all. Because it's got this support here. And it's really strong. Usually, those those pieces, the back, or the keep the whole thing supported so it wouldn't break. But... They got they got supported pretty good. They got this board here. Down on the bottom they got a couple um, looks like triangles on forty fives down there. On the legs down the bottom. So those look pretty stable. And it don't shake any cause so a person could just leave it open if they wanted to. But I think that burlap's gonna look pretty good. Hold it up for one more time because I think I held it 
where the tubes were. That's where, is that where I had it before, or did I have it like that? I can't remember. That's where I'm putting it. Just write in the comments, guys, if you think that'll look good or not. Alrighty. Um, I think that'll about wrap that part up on this whole thing right now. I don't know what that goes to it. Maybe it's, I'm hoping, is it a speaker? <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's a wire and it's, it's cut, or... Mm -hmm. It's a speaker wire. Mm. Yeah, both speaker wires are off. And that's one of them. That one's on. But it's, why is it down here? That's not good. And then the other one that runs right here, the little green one, it's a, it's not hooked up. And I have no idea where that would go. And it looks like somebody, it's got a big splice on it. So maybe they hooked it to something else I don't know now here's a black wire it's coming no that that one goes to the lot so the green that's just odd I don't know why this wire here is like that and it's a weird wire it's it's, it's almost rectangle shape really done about seeing that to tell you the truth guys hopefully it won't be hard to find where it goes I don't have a schematic I'll have to get a schematic for it for real all right all righty let's open this up this is uh, the radio tuner that I ordered so let's open it up and see what it's going to consist of and um i'm hoping i'm hoping it it came with a schematic because uh surely it did because it's got to be put together so let's open it up it took it almost two and a half weeks to get here sure taped it up good how does that come open huh. I'm getting closer. There we go. A bunch of pieces. A whole bag of parts. I guess I'm going to have to wrap the wire and everything. 
around the little, I call them donuts. There's a little button, on off button. I guess this is my, my digital screen. This is going to be an antenna tuner. Yeah, this is the little, the little, um, digital panel. Ooh, I gotta be careful. There's a little tiny piece. I don't know, I didn't think it was going to be this small. And here's the other board. But here's the thing. I don't guess it came with the box. Or the schematic. So what the hey? That's crappy, man. Do you all, have any of you all ever done this? Yeah, I had no schematic or nothing. They just sent me a bunch of pieces in the board. Is that way it's supposed to be? I thought they at least give me the case too. I paid twenty-two dollars, uh, almost thirty dollars for this. Um, you could got one that's already made for sixty. I'm not very happy at this moment, and um, I don't understand. I mean, there's no note or nothing. <laughs> What the heck? I mean, what what do I do with this? I mean, I have no, nothing to go by to even put that on thing together. I'll have to look into that. Let me go get my other phone. I'll show you what it's supposed to be. Alright, guys. Here is what it was. Let me see if I can get it. Turn around here. Right here. This is what I ordered. Right there. It says seven by seven. Nice. Yeah, there's a the little switch. That's not what I ordered. So, <laughs> this is what came in. Maybe the schematics on online. It says collar kit. But this is what I was looking at. Then when I ordered it, that's what I ordered. Assuming that it would come with the black case. I don't even have... I mean, I have no way to even hook my antenna up to it. Because it didn't come with the, um, the plugs. So I totally don't understand, man. So, if you guys have ever experienced this, can you please leave a comment and let me know if uh, 
you've got to order the case separate because I mean I've got the board and everything for the front part I can get all that built put that in but I mean it's not going to do no good because I don't have the actual um, plugs or nothing Now they got, they have this one, like right here. Maybe that's what's. I mean, it's showing all the pieces here. Here's a schematic. So, at least I can look on here. Oh my gosh. It ain't gonna zoom up. There's the schematic. Maybe somehow I can find a bigger one. I was under the impression, though, it came with a case. I guess I could hook all this up. I can run my cable jacks in here until I get uh, figure out what to do. Anyway, guys, I'm sorry. That's probably the most worst video I've ever had. But, um... Just a little bit let down. It wasn't what I ordered. I could order it complete for sixty some dollars if I knew that this I would have done that. But when you look at this, and well, if I can come back, it says one of five. One course, you know, you see that you you think that's the parts. You know, you're not going to think that it's not going to come about the case. I mean. Who would want just the circuit board? So like I said, if any of you guys have ordered this and see my video or whatever and had the same problem, please leave in the comments what if even if I can order the case, I'm sure the case is what twenty bucks too. So by the time it's said down, I should have just bought it already built. Ugh. Alrighty guys, I ain't gonna let it get to me. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you to all my subscribers. And if I don't get to another video this weekend, you all have a great holiday weekend. And, um, all that good stuff guys. So you all have a great weekend. I'll see you next time, right here on Redneck Waste. Bye guys. Man, that's so aggravating. Alright guys, I'm going to make a little bit better ending to this video. Um, I was looking up, and I guess I should have knew that it was a cover of case, even though it showed a picture. They, they're kind of tricky. They really are when you order stuff. So if anybody out there hasn't ordered anything like this before, beware. Make sure you know what you're getting. Because, I mean, I, got, I remember getting this. It was already built, but it didn't come in a box either. I mean, I can mount, mount it to a piece of wood or something. But, um, I think as long as I've been, uh, I found a small schematic for this online. But hopefully I can find a better one. And I think I can get to work. But I'm still going to have to order some pieces because it's got uh, S, um, SMA cables. Right there's one of them. So, I'm going to have to order the cable, to, uh, extra cable to hook to that. So, I can get uh, to a UHF cable. You know what I mean? And Tumi, or I don't know how to pronounce that. Timi or Tumu, Tumu. They have those SMA cables for four forty eight a piece. So, I'm going to be in this probably another $10. So, but what I was going to say, just... If you're going to order one of this stuff and you don't know better, it don't come with the case. Even though it shows a picture of a case and it says color black and all that, evidently it don't come with a case. So. But alrighty. I'm just going to let you know that I think I'm going to be able to still use this. I just got to order a couple cables for it. They want $20 for just the box. So, uh. But I've seen other people just using it about the box. 
so as long as I have the cables I guess it we'll get it working alrighty guys have a great evening bye